Let's talk about what a HECM or reverse mortgage loan is not. There are so many misconceptions out there and it's important to address these things specifically. First, a reverse mortgage is not a lifetime commitment. You can move whenever you want. You're allowed to change your mind and sell the home if you wish. Only you will make that decision, not the lender or the government. We're required to make a lifetime commitment to you, but it doesn't go the other way. See, as a lender, we cannot ask you to ever move or sell your home earlier than you want to. As long as you occupy and maintain the home and continue to pay your real estate taxes and insurance as you would otherwise. But now, here's the big one. Many people believe a reverse mortgage is just a loan of last resort. This is simply not true. In fact, it couldn't be further from the truth. While a HECM can certainly help a senior who may be facing foreclosure or running into financial hardship, the truth is that talking to your financial planner about a reverse mortgage at an earlier age, even before you reach the qualifying age of 62, is really the smartest way to go. When a reverse mortgage is incorporated early into your overall retirement plan, it can provide greater retirement cash flow efficiency. The primary financial planning benefit is the available line of credit. This option allows the homeowners to draw funds as needed and leave unused funds in a line of credit that grows in the borrower's favor, meaning they will have greater borrowing capacity over time. Now here's another one. A reverse mortgage is not a sale or transfer of your home. The deed is in your name. The bank never owns the house and has no say as to what you do with the house, as long as you keep it insured, pay the property taxes, maintain it, and of course, live there. If you want to remodel it, paint it a different color, or even sell it, you're the one in control, not the bank. A reverse mortgage is not a failed government program. The Home Equity Conversion Mortgage Program has been around since 1988. It's called in government speak, revenue neutral. That means the government authorizes the guarantees, but the costs are paid by FHA mortgage insurance premiums, which are part of every loan. And that's done and paid out of the equity of the home. So the taxpayers don't fund the program. It's merely made possible by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which monitors lenders to make sure that seniors are being treated fairly and equitably.